What's going on, we go ride family? Today we're gonna be going over why I started with the 1000cc. So let's get straight into it. Why I started on the 1000cc. It's gonna be an interesting topic for a lot of you guys. Migo, hey! Man, that's one of the reasons. Power. With me being 6'7", I feel like I'm gonna have to reiterate this a lot. I mean, I, I started on dirt bikes. I know a lot of you guys come from the same background. You guys start riding on two wheels somewhere else, three wheels, whatever it may be, uh, four wheels on quads. And uh, you just want a little more speed. You just want to be able to have that street legal bike and be able to get out in a different environment. Um, but yeah, for me, I mean, I've always loved the Suzuki Jixxer. Uh, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of jokes that people make about them and the first time starters and wheelies and the reckless riding and all that uh, all those things um, but at the end of the day man I love the style I love the sound and overall I just felt like the bike fit me when I hopped on it um, it just felt comfortable to me see I actually had the opposite problem uh, that a lot of you guys end up having with uh, being able to touch the ground I mean I could touch the ground very well especially with me being lowered two inches in the front uh, as well as lowered in the rear at least an inch and three quarters uh, I feel comfortable on the bike you guys as you can see here hold this down oh mode you got traction that goes all the way up to 10 now I can show you here if I were to give it full throttle I haven't done this in a while but uh, the EC was tuned for full fledged out. You can't go into traction control on, obviously for rainy days, like we might possibly have today. But not only do you have this feature, and I think if I hold it, it'll go to the A, B, C. And these modes are completely dead. One is, I believe, meant for rain. It gives you different ranges in the power band, and it basically what it does is it restricts the power band. We'll go ahead and give you guys a pull here. Man. Like, I'm twisting the throttle all the way. Even with me twisting the throttle all the way, it still, you know, it doesn't necessarily give me what I want. Oh yeah, big difference. Big difference. Don't mean to scare that car there. It's a, it's a lot chiller, man. It's, it's almost, I mean, I never rode a 600cc bike, but man, I mean, what more can you ask for this bike feels? Twisting the throttle all the way. With me twisting the throttle all the way, man. Throughout these gears, it feels like a totally comfortable bike. I'm not sure if I can change this mode here while riding. I believe maybe I can if I hold it down. C. B. Okay, so you can change the modes while riding. I haven't messed with these features in a while, you guys. I usually just stay on A, no traction. Um, that's my go-to. But let's go ahead and try B out. Set it there. Let's go ahead and downshift a little bit. Look at that view. This is second gear. Go ahead and just hit it. You guys can see how long the RPMs take to get up there. This is the biggest effect here when you go in and out of traction. Because what that'll do is it'll go ahead and cut out completely. Go to show you guys. We're in B mode with traction control all the way on. First gear. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but the bike wants to cut out. And to be honest, I don't feel like that's very healthy for my bike that's not what I'm tuned for okay so now we'll go ahead and give you guys a hit first gear it, it's not strapped so I may wheelie a little bit huge difference but uh 
Yeah, man, the modes make this bike a, a completely different bike. You don't, you don't necessarily always have to ride the bike in go fast mode. That's just, that's just me, man. I, I don't know. I'm not sure if, uh, if I find the bike is thrilling. At the end of the day, I feel comfortable with the bike. I know its limits. I respect the bike, and I feel like that's the biggest thing when you do get into the higher CCs. You just gotta respect the bike, man. Know your limits and also, yeah, just know your limits. Cause at the end of the day, the bike is fast. It's all about the rider. However you ride it, I can cruise this thing all day. I can cruise, I can cruise this thing all day. It's not a problem. If I were to hop on the 600, man, I felt like with me being younger and always growing in size, I started with a 125. I feel like I got really comfortable on that bike. I wasn't necessarily ever into jumps, um, but I did like the back roads, stuff like this. And uh, just getting out on the bike in general, you get to get off for your mind. Um, but that doesn't play into factor why I needed a thousand cc. Just a small, tiny bit of a desk. Because if I was out here trying to keep up with thousands all day, uh, red line my bike definitely wouldn't be fun. You know, it, it gets old fast. As I was saying, with me starting on a 125 cc on a dirt bike, I noticed that I got over the power really quick in the, on that bike. Um, obviously, it wasn't a 450, but I just saw myself. And I could tell, let's go ahead and get over. I don't know what this car is gonna do. I could feel myself just gradually falling in love with the with the adrenaline that I was getting from it. Beautiful. Look at that Mercedes. That's goals right there. Back to what I was saying. 1000 cc I keep getting sidetracked but uh yeah with 1000 cc man I, I didn't want to be out there getting left in the dust man I wanted to be able to give you guys great videos being able to enjoy myself I, 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 either way I would I would enjoy my time on the bike two wheels getting out in general enjoying other people's company um, as well as getting out and enjoying my own presence and my own thoughts and exploring the world I mean that's really what I try and get out here and do. Explore different parts. Wow, I did that in third gear, you guys. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever did that one. That's the first. I'm surprised I didn't stall right there. Sorry, Clutch. I haven't wheeled this bike too often. Been trying to chill out. Let's go ahead and hit this corner. That's how you do it. See, I don't do that too often, but man, woo. it feels so good just to be back on the bike, even though it may be raining soon, a little bit later in the day. Man, that is why I started on a 1000 right there, that adrenaline. But it's controlled adrenaline. I don't just go crazy all the time. Like I said, I respect the bike. And I feel like that's the biggest component of riding because not everybody I wouldn't advise everybody to necessarily go ahead and start on a 1000 it isn't the smartest thing for a lot of people just um you know some people you know throttle control is the biggest thing on these bikes some people you know have a bad day man they just want to go full flesh I, I admit I have those days too but it's still to a high concern of my safety and also others around me but like I was saying, let's go ahead and get behind this Mustang. Man, I'm really enjoying these icy views, man. This weather out here looks amazing, man. I cannot complain, not one bit. Right or left? I feel like left, I have a little more safety. 
Look, the bike lane, man. Let me get my gear going, man. What the fuck are you talking about? Let me chill out, man, for the kids watching. This area is known for the cops, so go ahead and chill out. I want to take this route just to enjoy the scenery a little bit but we will be hitting a little more back road so y'all stay tuned for that maybe making this a two-part video possibly i hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately uh, like i said in the previous video i'm going to be biting down on these videos just filling you guys in with the uh, some frequent questions that i've that i've gotten in the past yeah man i try to get to you all you guys uh, i appreciate all the support you guys show it truly does mean a lot. You guys don't understand how much I appreciate it. To you to show love, share my videos. Man, I rolled to 100k after that, man. Half a million. Shooting for the stars, man. I believe we could do it. We're gonna ride, family. Definitely plan on getting some apparel soon. So you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, you guys. It truly is a blessing, man, to be out here. I'm really just soaking in the moment, man. Sometimes I just truly forget about how beautiful these back roads are you know always going straight always going fast you don't know, you truly get to embrace your surroundings and that's what i was saying i keep getting thrown on topic we got lots of views yeah you guys that's best why i started on 1000 cc this this bike just so happened to present itself but it was right i did get co-signed for this bike for you guys first time buyers for those of you guys that can't get a cosign, I'm only 20 years old right now. My birthday is coming up soon. I'm um, in March, March 6th. So for, for those of you guys that are watching, go ahead and shoot me a go ahead and shoot me a message on the gram, man. Tap in. Wish me a happy birthday, man. I really appreciate it. That's my family, man. I appreciate all you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be shooting a little bit of back row videos right after this. So if you guys see me in the same gear. But peace out, we gonna ride family. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I went missing on a mission, just perfecting the craft. I like the old tunnel vision, ain't expect me to last. I put 40 in each pocket and the rest in the bag.